In this video, we will discuss about the level transmitter output current signal values with respect to, to the tank level. Let's suppose the tank level is 0% and the level transmitter will send 0% signal to the PLC. If you see what is the current range, it is 4 to 20 milliamperes. The 4 represents the 0% signal of the process variable. That is why the tank level is 0%. The transmitter is sending 4 milliamperes current signal to the PLC. The PLC receives the 4 milliampere signal and calculates the tank level. Finally, it will update the tank level on the computer graphics. The level is 0 percentage. Let's say now the tank level is 25 percentage. Now the transmitter sends 8 milliamperes current signal to the PLC. Again, the PLC receives this current signal and calculates the tank level, which is 25 percentage and displays on the computer. Level is 25 percentage. Now, the tank level is 50 percentage. The transmitter sends 12 milliamperes current signal to the PLC and PLC updates the computer graphics value, the tank level value to 50 percentage. Now again the tank level reaches 75 percentage. Then the transmitter sends 16 milliamperes to the PLC. Now PLC calculates the tank level and updates the value which is 75 percentage on the graphics. Next the tank level is 100 percentage. The transmitter sends 20 milliamperes the maximum current value which is 20 current signal to the PLC. PLC calculates the tank level based on the received current signal and updates the tank level value on the graphics, which is level 100 percentage. Remember, in this course, our main focus is on 4 to 20 milliampere signals. We are not going to discuss about how the PLC is calculating these values or how it is updating these values on the graphics. These are different topics. What I want you to understand is the basic concept for any instrument, not only for level transmitter. It may be flow transmitter, it may be temperature transmitter, it may be pressure transmitter, it may be an analyzer, it may be an electrical VFD drive or any device. Okay, the concept is similar. Just consider per in percentage so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept. At zero percentage, transmitter sends 4 milliamperes, that is the zero scale, and at 100 percentage, the transmitter sends 20 milliampere to the PLC and it is a full scale value in terms of percentage 0 percent and 100 percentage and in terms of current it is 4 milliamperes and 20 milliamperes. So this is how the transmitter sends the current signal and the PLC calculates the equivalent process parameter value. Understand? This concept is 
same for every instrument which is a analog input to a PLC or a DCS or any type of controller based on 4 to 20 milliamperes. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.